Hello and welcome along to Mondo Child Event Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be my top 10 non-horror special editions of 2022. On this video I'm going to try not to say taking it to the next level because I think I said it about 15 times in the last one. But I found that these special editions have blown me away in some shape or form and indeed they've took it to the next level. Oh, So number 10 is a complete series of Married with Children. Now I had, I've got them somewhere up there. I've got the first four on the standalone uh, DVD. Now I thought they would all come out, and this was years ago and they never did, so I thought, right, I've got to go and get this one. It's got um, 11 seasons, 262 episodes. I always thought that the quality on the what the writing went down to a certain extent when I used to watch on the TV. There was a time when uh, the, this young little kid came into the series and I thought I went downhill at that point and probably that kid stayed with the series for a long time, which he doesn't which I was pleased about. So the series 1 to 5 are my favourite ones. I just think they're absolutely brilliant. Now on season 6, for some reason, well I'll tell you the reason, because uh, Katie Siegel got uh, pregnant and they had to sort of work this really weird sort of uh, storyline in. I think that Marcy Darcy was uh, pregnant as well next uh, door, but she wasn't. So it was actually Peggy Bundy that got pregnant in real life. Now, I thought it was the other way around when I was watching it. So what they had to do is they had to make season 6 a kind of like a Dallas, like it was all a dream uh, episode, like season, which is crazy. But anyway, so I've, I'm up to about season, just start of season nine. It's taken a long time to get through these because of that many episodes. But it gets back to, after season seven, it gets back on, on track and it's so funny. This could never be made today. It's so, um, well, it's so on PC, but that's what I like about it. It was really on PC back in the day, never mind now. So yeah, so that's really, if you can get your hands on this cheap, I got it in the sale for over £40. I was more than pleased to get it. I don't know how many discs is on here, but there's a lot. So highly recommended, especially if you can get it in a sale. That's at number 10, that's Married with Children. So some of these editions have been out for a while. And it's just been 2022 and I've actually picked them up. So coming in at number 9 is The Complete Sartana. Now this is, it's a lovely box set. And it's one of those box sets that just feels great. It just feels great in your hands. You've got all the Sartana movies in there. And they are played sometimes by different different actors. I think the first three is the same bloke. And it's, it, then it gets uh, you know different people in different Sartanas. It's all the same as Spaghetti Western series. They're always all over the place a little bit. I watched the first movie and I thought it was really good. I thought it was... Uh, it actually, it looked better than I thought it was going to look. I thought these look would look a bit uh, sort of like dodgy because of the fact that the from the 60s, early 70s, and they might not translate that well with the film stock being a bit low, but no, they, they look really nice. But this one here, I don't know if there's a special, special edition with the booklet in it, but I got it for about £20, which is a great price to pay for this. And it's just, I don't know, it's just something about Arrow when they do these um, like these hard boxes. I get a lot of fun out of handling these box sets. I just think they just look so great on the shelves as well. So number nine, that's a complete Sartana. So staying on the spaghetti western theme, and number eight is The Fistful of Dynamite. Now this is uh, directed by Sergio Leone of the Fistful of Dollars trilogy. And Eureka have got this really good knack of when they release a special edition, it looks so nice. And big thanks to my good friend John Hall, who'll be coming up on a live stream in January. I'll be getting him on the channel and you can ask him some questions as well, which would be great. He's looking forward to that. And this, he, got, he gave me the chance of owning this one, because he had two copies. Now this one here comes with an amazing booklet. Uh, the artwork on here is, is fantastic, and you also get you get two disc Blu-ray edition, and you get reversible art there as well, like original art. So this movie is like comedy, and you really always do good transfers when it comes to movies. So you can rest assured you're going to get a good, as well as a packaging, you're going to get a good movie. Now this uh, this like I say, this is more like comedy. The, the other ones that he's directed, the Fistful of Dollars trilogy and also Once Upon a Time in the West, they are more serious and they're all brilliant and this one is equally as brilliant but it's got a different flavour about it. But Once Upon a Time in the West on 4K by Eureka would be outstanding. So at number 8, that's A Fistful of Dynamite. At number 7 is the Alfred Hitchcock's Classics Collection Volume 1. Now this was gifted to me by my good friend Paul Lang aka the 4K Chef. And he said that he would like to send me something. When I opened this, I couldn't believe what I was saying. Now, this is the American version. And the reason why I, I like this American version, I'm going to try and get the, the volume two on American, the American version, is because it's got this lovely presentation in here. The, the movies are in this, but you've got this thing which I don't think is in the UK one. 
and I just I just love the way this looks. This whole this could be a, a, a set in itself, just this, but then it comes in this lovely slip box as well. So I want to thank Paul once again for giving me the chance to own this. Now they've got the front there's embossed. All these movies look spectacular on 4K, especially uh, Rear Window and also Vertigo. Vertigo looks the best. In fact, Vertigo is one of the best ever. Um, this division movies you will see in your life. It's just so good. It's just absolutely a dream to look at. This is this is what 4K is made for to see, to see these older films in this spectacular fashion. So big shout out to Paul. That's a number seven. That's Alfred Hitchcock's Classics Collection Volume One. Try saying that after ten pints. At number six is Citizen Kane. Now this box set is absolutely fantastic. The movie is fa fantastic, as you know. I've just recently sort of discovered this as to be a masterpiece, and it's a masterpiece. So that's all the stuff you get in there. I mean, it's literally packed to the gills with stuff. And the, one of the things I like about this is you do actually get the movie as well with a slipcase on, which you don't usually get in special special editions, which I think is really nice. And yep, so this this movie I just find it just to be so good. I think it looks great on the shelf as well. I love the way it's uh, presented. And I think that this movie, if I'd got it in the lower, if I bought the movie just as a standalone one, it's that good. I would have went for this this special edition. I got the special edition because only £20 in CEX and it had everything in it, which I made sure about before I walked out and it didn't have anything missing out of it. But yeah, so can't recommend this movie highly enough, but the special edition is just, I think a movie like this, you need to own, if you like it, obviously, you need to own on special edition because it just, it's just an iconic movie. And I think that this, this set does it the best just as it can do it. So number six, that's Citizen Kane. At number five is the Mary Millington movie collection. Now, I remember when I got this one, I thought, right, I'm going to try and get most of it watched. And I have watched most of this uh, this set. And some of the movies are absolutely brilliant and some of them are not so good. It, But the best thing about this this pack is it goes deep into the life of Mary Milton and what, what we're sure all about and the things that she sort of got up to or the things that happened to her. And to be honest, it's the whole story of it is fascinating. And that's one of the best things about this, this set. You do get a lot of stuff. It's, it's hard to show you most of the stuff in this set because you know of uh, certain things on covers but you know these movies are actually coming out in standalone you can get them all standalone with the original covers on them which look actually but great but uh, this, this is going to do me this is another one of those tactile sets that's just so nice so I'm so glad this came in a hard box as well because that's what this type of uh, thing needs you get practically everything that Mary Milton's done over the years so Mary Milton only had a short career in films and also a short life in general which is very sad actually it's a it is a bit a bittersweet tale of this person who was against censorship and she used to fight with Mary Mary Whitehouse about everything which is great but it did it did sort of like didn't work out for the end but just highly recommended this box set I mean all the stuff in here is, is a bit it's not the best of movies, but they're of a certain time, and you, you just look at it and you think, oh, this is so late 70s, and I had a great time with it. So number five, that's a Mary Millington movie collection. So number four is Singing in the Rain. Now this is another one, just like Citizen Kane. It's so well packaged, although it doesn't come with a slipcover on it, which is no problem, really. And this, this movie looks sensational in 4K. It's one of those ones where you think, Will it look that good? But it's it's just everything about it is so vibrant and the colours on it are just next level. Oh, I said it. That's only one, mind. So you get a booklet in here, you get uh, you get this sort of uh, box with all your, all your stuff in it and you also get your movie as well, which looks sensational in 4K. Now, I remember when I saw this on Keith from Euphoria's their channel, link down below. So when I saw Keith unboxing this particular edition, I thought, I've got to get it. It just looks so amazing. And to hear that the movie sounds amazing as well is just like, you know, icing on a cake again. So I just love the way that these these sets are, the, the size of them, the shape of them look absolutely brilliant on the shelf as well. So um, I'm all for these ones. If they want to come out like this, if they're a good movie as well, I will get every one of these type of movies because the Citizen Kane one, it deserved it to be seen like this. And I will be picking up a lot more of these because these classic movies do look amazing on a 4K. And I think that maybe 4K medium is where they're best suited. So at number four, that's Singing in the Rain. And number three is Dalek's Invasion of the Earth, 2150 AD. Now, this set is amazing. 
I love these Doctor Who movies. I know they're not considered canon Doctor Who's, but I have a really good time with them. And that's what matters in the most, isn't it? So this, this box set, it's got some excellent spot glass on it. Really catches the light. And I've done some unboxings of these. And uh, mm, I like that. And uh, so you get tons of stuff in here. You get any amount of things in here. But I've done unboxings of them, which I'll leave the link down below to this one. And uh, if you want to see what's in, inside and uh, have a good look through this, this box set. And the, actually, the 4Ks on here look really nice as well. I thought they would have been not as good as they are, but they're really nice. So number three, that's Dalek's Invasion of the Earth, 2150 AD. So on the back of that one, the number two is Doctor Who and the Daleks. Now, it was hard to pick a pick between those two because they both look exceptional. It's hard to separate the two Doctor Who's, but for some reason I just like this one just a little bit more. Like again, you get all this spot gloss on it. Looks sensational. The whole thing looks sensational. It's just stuff all over the place. You get this on the back as well. You get all the stuff in the box. Like I say, I'm going to leave the description down to them, these two. Uh, they just look so, they're just so amazing. I'm really glad that they came out in this fashion. There's only two of them. So it's quite, well, it's easy to collect them. I've got the two of them now. And uh, they're still available, actually. So I thought these would sell out really quickly. That's why I got them really quickly. But uh, they're still available. And sometimes they're in a the sale as well. So I get a little bit of a different feeling about these two box sets, the Doctor Who ones. I just think they're a little bit more premium for what they put into this, the way they've done these sets. They're just absolutely incredible. So at number two, that's Doctor Who and the Daleks. So at number one in my top 10 list of special editions I've picked up in 2022 is the Shore Scope box sets. Now, I had, this one was released last year, but I did pick it up this year for £70, which it usually retails for about £120. So I got this one for £70 and I was that blown away by it. I had to immediately get this one as it would come out. Now these sets are just out of the world. The the things they put in them is just this this is like how a box set is done to its like the zenith. I can't express how good these are to, to, to handle in real life. We a ton, and they are just so good to look at. I keep the shrink wrap on as you know for as long as I can. So in here, as you do with the uh, volume one, you get. The huge box, the huge booklet with all these uh, amazing pictures on and tells you all about the movies. It's just, it's a delight to look through. And you get the movies housed in this really good, like, binder. And the movies are, they're in here, but they're, they're alright. The actual, the way they come out is quite good. It's not one of these ones where it comes out and you think, oh my god, I'm going to wreck me, uh, me discs actually come out really well so pleased to pick these sets up I mean the devs will be watching them next year and I knew they looked good when people were unboxing them but I didn't know how good they were until I actually held them in my hands and thought wow this is just something this is something incredible to have in the collection and usually I don't go for box sets that are huge and because uh, I really haven't got the space for if I got loads of these I would have to ditch quite a lot of movies but I had to make an exception for these two so even though Volume 1 came out in 2021, it's still available to buy. So I'd imagine this one would still be around for quite a bit. So I know that you'll get them probably next year in a sale for around about £70, maybe even less if you're, if you're lucky. But I urge anybody who's on the fence, if you want to get something that's just truly spectacular, look no further. Because these literally blow me away. They blow me away that much that I knew I had to get this one full price. And I will buy the other ones on full price because I just had that much of a good experience with them. And I haven't even watched any of them yet, although I flicked through and I've had a good look and saw the quality on them look absolutely spectacular. So, thanks for watching, you take care, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers!